Hi everyone, today I am going to tell you a short story from Bhattrisa Singhasan and Vikramaditya. And the name of the story is Surbhi the Heavenly Cow. Let me begin the story. Once again King Bhoja tried to ascend the throne and at that time another statuette came out and said, O King Bhoja, sit upon it if you can manifest the heroism the generosity and the fortitude which he had. And immediately King Bhojo asked, tell me the story of King Vikramaditya. Then the statuette began. There was never a king like King Vikramaditya for qualities such as heroism, uh, magnanimity, uh, compassion, discrimination and fortitude. And Moreover, he did what he said. He said what is in his heart because these are the qualities of good people. It is said as they think, so they speak. As they speak, so they do. In good people, there is uniformity in their thought, speech and action to help, to speak kindly and to have great affection is always in the good people. So, O King, can anyone make the moon cool? And once again she began, once Lord Indra uh, sat upon his throne surrounded by all the uh, all his minister, demigods and uh, so many uh, divine princes, sages, Vishwavasu and the names like uh, Menka, Urvasi, Tilottama, uh, Sukesi, Priyadarsini and so many others. Not only that, presiding with the eight uh, deities of eight directions, they all came to pay their homage to Lord Indra. In the, uh, in the discussion, says Narada said, O King, uh, sorry, O Lord uh, Indra, no king can surpass Vikramaditya in virtues. He is a noble king and courageous with having all the good qualities of compassion, generosity, fortitude and so many others. Not only that, he controls all the people in the world. So, nobody can surpass him. And no king can surpass him. Then Indra was marveled with these words. So immediately he asked Surbhi, the wish fulfilling cow, to go to the earth and investigate the virtues of King Vikramaditya. After receiving the command from Indra, Surbhi immediately proceeded to the earth and he fell into a nasty pit where she floundered like a common cow. At that very time, King Vikramaditya was on his way back to the city after touring uh, provinces in disguise. He heard the sound, the crying sound. Then he thought himself, from where comes this crying like a cow? And particularly in this fearful forest, somebody must be in trouble. I must go and see. Thus thinking, he came to the spot and saw the miserable cow feebly trying uh, to climb out of the pit where she had fallen. The king's heart filled with compassion and immediately he thought he, no one was as foolish as one has power but does not like to do the work of his master 
or to help the friends in trouble or to rescue helpless or to help others i must help this car then he stood there and immediately he uh, covered the car with his garments and himself remained naked gradually the uh, day passed and at night rain began but king was still there he didn't went away he, he didn't go away and while he was just looking at the uh, yes he tried to pull out the cow but failed because she was too heavy in the morning once again he tried his best to pull out the cow from the pit and suddenly at that time he heard the terrible roaring sound of a ferocious tiger and the tiger tiger approached near both of them and he was ready with his yapping jaws just to attack the cow the king immediately came in between the cow and the tiger the tiger also gave a heavy blow to the king but somehow he withstood it and attacked him with his sword by this way he saved that cow now after a while the cow came out from the pit on her own and she said o king vikramaditya am survi the wish fulfilling heavenly ka now i came to investigate your virtue and i have seen it no one has this heart like you have the compassion the generosity everything i have seen today so o king i am pleased ask me a boon then king vikramaditya said o mother with your grace i lack nothing what can i ask for once again surbhi was amazed with king's words so hearing the selfless and steadfast words she then said o king i am yours then king vikramaditya became very happy and proceeded towards ujjayini with surbhi uh, after a while vikramaditya met a brahmin on the way the brahmin said o king you are a with your majesty is a wishing tree for his supplicants o king i am uh, suffering with poverty i am a magician nobody i can see everybody but nobody can see me but kindly do something for me so that uh, as long as i am alive i will not suffer with this poverty do something for me the king became very once again he heart filled with compassion and he said oh brahmin take this cow she will fulfill you all your desires the brahmin became very happy and took surbhi and surbhi also uh, fulfilled all his wishes and went back to heaven king vikramaditya went back to his kingdom now the statuette asked to king bhoja who king bhoja at least name uh, tell me one name who can be equal with this king is there any one no one can sit upon this throne because 
Ananda Dema worthy of. None of them are worthy of it. Anyways, these are this this one is the uh, story of Survi and Heavenly Cow. Once again, I will meet you with some other story. But sometime, because of my slip of tongue, I do mistake. Please ignore it. Thank you so much.